Yeah, sorry, I got Crashed dropped. It. Yeah, we had a battle planet come in and uh, actually crash a bunch of ships. So, you, you know, you got that kind of debris up there, too. Where the heck is it? And uh, Kate, all the gamma that's coming in through the reentry, too. This is the burn up. You, uh, Read OK, too. Yeah, this one here. Yeah. I just wanted to. to well, show that one's you. from orbit. Um, yeah. This one's from orbit. But I wanted. I was looking for the other one. You can see it right there. But I. But I caught it. I caught it on the, from Hawaii on the telescope. Yeah. You know, so you can actually watch it come in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What I wanted to do was show the audience what what you were showing us that the fires up in northern BC are not a natural combustion, but they're they're an accelerant. And we experienced the same thing here last year in Saskatoon and all the different bands and reserves. I went to a Dataki Coop and stuff. It covered the whole, all the waters and all the lands here, Alfred, for over four to five weeks before it even dissipated out. It looked like someone spread cornflakes all over here. Watch this. You'll see the, uh, uh, see it come in right there? <laughs> And then the other thing too, Alfred, I do is um, the synchrotrons, because of the instability, all those rings or circles that have nuclear waste material because they're doing the, the colliders are all leak, like ours are leaking here. Patty can actually see it by the airport. It's actually glowing yellow. It's pissing yellow up here because we have another little Chernobyl here now. It's going to be a domino effect. So that's why right now Patty's designing radiation proof um, Decontamination centers and housing. So, could you repeat what you were telling me earlier that they're going in for a maximal kill now? Yeah, I mean the the Bartholometers around the planet. Look at this. This is what's in our air, all over the entire planet. These are neutrons. <laughs> from all this fallout. From, they're venting the reactors every night between one and two o'clock in the morning, venting the core right out the stack, uh, no filtration. Um, I got is, pictures from here. Know, and it's climbing, it's still climbing. It's, you know, we have numbers over 10,000. And I got some pictures we got off the University of Saskatchewan venting off at night. You can see it. It's just totally like all pinky purple with all their nuclear waste material that they're off gassing at night while the people are sleeping. And then they shut off the monitors for a few days so no one knows what's going on. And they put them back on when everything's closed down enough again. Yeah. The rads are outrageous. This is the, the one we did in France. And well, I've got is, people, people... This was the dump. Bill. This was the dump. Uh, and uh, see, now they're not even uh, doing the graph anymore, but you can see it's still above 2,100. Uh, it's currently right there. Dose is at uh, 1,998.48. It was 2,600. As, as, as of yesterday. It's right here. But they're not even doing the, the, the chart line. It's off. Uh, let, let's do it uh, for uh, uh, the first through the sixth fly. Yeah, see, they did a, they're, 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 they're trying to hide the data. We have pictures, so we've and, got it. Yeah. It says the dose up here when I put my thing up there. I have the pictures here. But they... they they show a little dot right there, and that's all they're showing. They're not, uh, they're not doing a. Uh, uh, let's try a gradient. See if it'll do that. Here's the one I just put it in the chat. No, nope, I've got the one from a couple days ago from France. Oops, I did. Yeah. Let's see, Aver average dose is uh, 1,996. Point four eight, but they're not showing the line anymore. I got the line. It's in the chat room now. I found it. Let's go from first to here. 
see if it'll do that one. Come on, download. Oh, see, it, it doesn't want to do the graph. And the trend is the same as the dose. That means it's gone up and it's staying up. We're not getting the peak and then tapering off. The, the dose, the average, and the trend are all the same number. That is bad. That means it ain't going away. It ain't going down at all. <laughs> And what's worth itself is, is I'm getting reports like the clients that I look after in all those areas are reporting hair loss, vomiting, instability, shakiness, dizziness, yeah. eyes, ears, hearing, memory loss, memory loss, lots of it. They don't even know what they're doing. They can't even get out of bed right now. Right, exactly. Could you just repeat what you just found on me? You were you were contacted by uh, a friend of mine, a Facebook friend of mine, and. Yeah. And you just did a scan on me. Could you just repeat what you found on me? Yeah, absolutely. I'll just go back in here. This is the SKIO, um, as I've been a SKIO practitioner for about 15 years, this is a genius insight. So we've now got all those radionic and Tesla and kind of uh, scalar and Royal Rife onto an app. So that's what they've been able to do, Ryan Williams. So anyone can run this without school. So you can actually test your own radiation, viruses, bacteria, whatever. So the first thing I, I got up when I went into this is I have extra libraries as a practitioner here. And um, basically what it did, um, I've just sent you the radiation levels here. And uh, of course, once you wanted me to show it, it just stopped it for some reason. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to reboot it back up. And what I have is I'll go in and I'll get your results. Okay. So I kept everything before it got dumped. Oh, great. This, this was another thing I wanted to show people. So what? See this red line? That's the trend. That's what you get on the meter. The blue is the actual dose. Right. Not this little red line. The blue is the actual dose. And it's, it's way above what you're getting on your meters. That's another uh, you know, little trick that they use. So look, it shows uh, the trend on the meter, not the actual dose. And, and they're dosing everybody. Literally. And look at, I mean, half the time this one's offline because this is Hannaford. I don't care. <laughs> you know. I'm glad I thought to save your stuff. I'll have it up here, hopefully, in a minute, Alfred, for you. Okay, no, no, that that's so that people understand and see um, what is occurring and the attacks on the civilian population of North America. This is, yeah, this is huge. If I have to, I'll go and I'll screen share because I sent it. To, there we go. I did get it saved before it went. I'll start a new one on you too because it's in there. Okay, so what we did was a system overview. We did everything mental, emotional, uh, physical profiling. We did a talk scan. We did libraries and stuff. So one of the things that came up when the first things is like biofilm, mm -hmm. which is another nice lay way of saying chemtrail. So if, when we're acidic, you're actually sucking in all the viruses, bacteria, the toxins, as opposed to being alkaline and pushing them off. You're actually taking everything in. Where are you at, Alfred, uh, physically? Vancouver. Vancouver, B.C. Oh, way out here. So you're out here. And then we got Hanford leaking below you. Yeah. The mitochondrial the assemblage point and stuff like that is also showing that um, assemblage is like in your heart and the mitochondrial. It's also affecting, it says, like the hearing, everything to do, hearing, eyes, vision, the whole brain assessment, emotional stuff being connected. And I'll show you everything I can in a minute. So what it's doing is it's competing for basically um, and throat and thyroid like you would see with radiation illness. So really what we're doing is I'm dealing with everyone like they, they do. They've got radiation. It's whether in Fukushima, Vancouver, Saskatoon, it doesn't matter. France now, it's radiation yeah. is what I'm doing. Basically, I've got radiation illness. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Pardon? this is it's pushing uh, 191 CPM. 
And, and this one's pushing 127 here. Well, well, let me share with you something. And both happened on a July 30th. On July 30th, 2017, was when I started this hoarseness and, and laryngitis. So I've basically been off the air. Today is Wednesday, September 6th. So Exopolitics TV has been off the air now for since July 30th. That's all of August. Now we're going in, into September. If you go back a year to September to July 30th, 2016, mm-hmm. I lost the entire central vision in my right eye. I do yeah. not have vision in my right eye except for, for peripheral vision. I only have vision in my left eye. So all of the vision went out in my right eye. I'm a writer. I'm an author. I'm a journalist, which means you have to see and report. And whammo. Um, I was going to, I was scheduled to go out and report on the gay pride parade right. the next day. And wham, they hit me. And um, uh, I went to the hospital and I lost the the vision in my in my right eye. I had to spend six weeks with the Canadian National Institute for the Blind. I went to a six month six week course <clears throat> with the CNIB called right. Vision Odyssey. They even issued me a white cane. I had to learn how to, you know, go on the buses and everything with glasses. I yeah. mean, really, I, I had to learn how to navigate the whole world again and learn how blind people walk. That's how intense this attack on the alternative media has been. They took away my eyes and they took away my voice now. And so that's how intense this attack on the alternative media is. And you're documenting it scientifically now. It's all in data. This is not made up. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, my I, right I, eye vision yeah, has what, been taken away, and now my voice is being taken away, and I have radiation illness. And not only that, it's being done to the entire population of North America and the West Coast. You know, they were make they were stating all these this stuff, and I went to. Um, uh, you know, like no one got the actual data, and, and 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 you know, wind speeds and all of that, and documented. This was you know right sitting right in front of the hurricane, inside the thing of it, and and you know, documented it and sent it up to the web. It's like what they're talking about is bullshit. Thirteen point six knots gusting to 17.5 in the hurricane that they're claiming is a cat five or a cat six now bullshit <laughs> and they're saying oh you're going to argue with noah's best prediction software i said yeah you know why because i can go to noah's equipment do a direct read from the site in real time and it says it's bullshit right <laughs> I even tracked, you know, the uh, airplanes and, uh, and I mean, the boats and stuff. Uh, I tracked where the boats were and the shit's coming out of the boats that they're actually there at the hurricane feeding it. Right. Yeah. Could you show at some point, could you show the fires in northern BC to show that it's sulfur dioxide, not carbon monoxide that's coming up to show that they're not natural combustion, but they are are an accelerant up there is that possible yeah let me uh i I got that already open so i should be able to just go there right now that's what i collected or gathered i should say collected i got this now let me turn on the the fire stuff too so you can see where the fires are burning where's the carbon monoxide Carbon monoxide's blue up up to the red here. The red I just turned on all these red dots. That's your fires. Where's where's the blue and, and all that from the carbon monoxide? Why is there no carbon monoxide coming off these fires? 
why is that pink out? He has, uh, um, you know, the sulfur dioxide uh, up in front where they're seeding some more of the woods. But there's right. no carbon dioxide? Right. How do you have a fire without carbon dioxide? And I think, that, you know, what people need to know, Alfred, too, is that, like, you know, with us in as truth journalists and people, you know, trying to get this and on our soul journeys and stuff, is that we are under direct attack and stuff. I mean, I woke up with that. Right. And I had the same thing similar to what you did. We've also, they uncovered there was also an assassination attempt on my life as well. Right. So aside from just the targeting and everything else, but, you know, people do need to know this. And, I mean, just the fact that even in Saskatoon, I came back here because of Alex, my children being here. And now to see that this is leaking off by the airport in their synchrotron ring, and now they want to go bigger and bigger, these, these Dracos and stuff and underground facilities... Now I've met with Beth Gooby, just to let you know, too, that was an author as well. And she was like Kathy O'Brien here. They call her Canada's, you know, um, Kathy O'Brien here for being taken by the Illuminati. She's telling me she's being abducted at least one to twice a week and going underneath Saskatoon into the underground city for the satanic, like, sex rituals and stuff like that. We got a lot of stuff to, like, shut down here. And even want to see when they're trying to usurp it everywhere. It, it's like they tried to say that, you know, um, over in uh, uh, Korea, that they tested a nuclear weapon and all that back a little bit. I went and looked at the waveform. It's not, that's not a bomb waveform. It was a normal, bo- normal uh, quake. It's like, oh, my God. I mean, they're throwing everything out there. They don't have nukes, okay? They just don't. And, and they have missiles, but they don't have ICBMs. That's why they tried to do this other special, claiming now they got ICBMs and everything. And it's like, no, they don't. <laughs> You're talking about North Korea. Yeah. They claimed that they got a, they tested a bomb and everything else. It wasn't a bomb. It was a normal quake. Uh-huh. It's a very distinct difference in the waveform pattern between a bomb and a quake. So this is all PSYOP then. Yeah. And I mean, you can go and look at the uh, uh, the, the trace on it. Uh, the uh, pretty much any any quake, you can go look at the waveform, and I'll give you the chart here, and you can do a comparison. And and you know, where is it? I thought I put it down. But then why is why is Mike Adams promoting it as as true? I mean, is he like promoting this info, or or does he yeah, does not yeah, know? That's what I mean. Yeah. Uh, but so many of these people, it's. It, even on supposedly insiders and, and light workers, you know, they're sending me stuff all upset to go look at, and it's like I've already looked at this. It's bullshit. Yeah, chill out. I mean, I I, I have to tell you that I was I in consultation so. with three or four very very advanced nuclear scientists, Loren Murray, right, Bob Nichols, who does the nuclear reports for um, veterans today. They right. all agree with you that uh, on this that, on this that the green is North, the green is an underground nuclear plant. North Korea does right. not have nukes. They don't have ICBMs. So this is all what they call nuclear kabuki theater, and it's all to scare. However, this this um, uh, depopulation mm-hmm. of the civilian population is very real that they're Absolutely. doing now. Here's one of the things. If you do nothing else, if you could get them to stop throwing water on Fukushima, they have got to stop throwing water on that damn thing. That's basic nuclear physics. When a core melts down, if you throw water on it, all you do is cause it to continue to heat up and fission yeah. and make more nuclear product. Now, They've got to stop mm-hmm. throwing water on that. Who are the parties? Is it basically the Western powers that are behind the civilian uh, depopulation? That that is basically the U.S., the the Anglo-American, NATO, Rockefeller, Rothschild, uh, you federal have three, Federal Reserve, U.S. dollar. You know, you have three. Draco, you have three 
Draw three major those. groups. Three major groups. You got um, uh, Israel, which is your Martian Lemurians. You got uh, Rome and, and the British. That's your Dracos. And then you got the other group, uh, the, the major corporate group, which is your um, Anunnaki back. <laughs> so you got three T races primarily behind this. Okay. Now, now who's behind Israel again? That's the Israel is your Martian Muslims. They were given that fucking place. <laughs> they so, were the refugees from after they sunk Atlantis. That's where they've got the technology from because that that tri pyramid, uh, three sided pyramid down out in the Bahamas that's still in the ocean. One of the legs went dead. That gave you the two spinning, without the third. That created a vortex that yeah. evaporated the ground under Atlantis and moved. That's what made it sunk. Now they're reusing that tech, that same technology right now up in the ionosphere to cut humans off from ascending to 5D Earth. Yeah. So It's the same tech. Yeah. Now, but who is behind that? What ET race? Uh, the primary, it's actually to the Dra Dracos Anunnaki. Uh, oh, yeah. Kind of cooperating with it. that. And they're, the, they're behind most of all your, your really, you know, out of Sol system, uh, space breakaway civilization space group. Right. Uh, and now you got a battle going on because the Solar Warden group is actually kidnapping the corporate group's members and sucking the data out of their brains chemically. And they're pissed because the Solar Warden thought they were the be all, you know, do all in space, you know, all around the solar system, uh, but can't go out of it. And then you got the corporate group, these ETs. They got ships that are going all across the Milky Way. <laughs> and they were keeping themselves secret from the, the Solar Warden group. So now you got the Solar Warden group attacking these members and, and you know, sucking their brains dry. <laughs> now, the, sorry, just to go over it, you're, you're saying that the Solar Warden group is attacking the Anunnaki and Draco groups? Is that what you're yep, saying? Yep, yep. Because they, you know, they were the ones that actually got uh, the uh, galactic traveling ships and everything, and uh, have been pretty much running shit down here. Right. Okay. So, so when are the when are the Draco Anunnaki groups that are now trying to genocide all of us humans? When are they going to be cleared out, or is this like the end times? Is this like the final battle? This is the end of it. I already went to their homeworlds and wiped them all out. Uh -huh. Literally, of all life, all plant, all sign they ever existed. Uh -huh. oh. And I did the same thing to the, the uh, Orion Graves. And then I went up and one of the major players of the 20 groups that were invited here was the um, Christos group. Uh, and I went up in the echo and wiped out all six of those planets too. Right, well, right. Is, well, pe they're people really, get really desperate yeah, right now. Yeah, so look, calling in as a, every as other a, little race uh, they can find. As a journalist, people get very upset yeah, yeah, when I know. You, you say can't things talk like that. that. So let's kind of go back to the players well, I'm trying to, kind of I'm trying story. to put you in the picture <laughs> now because they don't have reinforcements yeah, from but their they, home but, world anymore. But, That's but why we're seeing all these broadcast, really weird... But, yeah. but, 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 but this is going to be broadcast, and people are going to go, ah, and they're going to freak out if you say things like that. So, well, that's why you're seeing we all these weird give, we, we other have to races. Give a reasonable exopolitical narrative here. You know, I've got to preserve a narrative yeah. that is evidence based. <laughs> well, this is what I'm saying. That's why we're seeing all these little uh, oddball ships from other races. They are really, really desperate. They're throwing the entire kitchen sink out there now because we're getting down to the end of September. And if they don't get us back under control by then, it's game over. For the Draco Anunnaki For the Dracos forces. and the Anunnaki and, and all the rest. Okay. Um, we're, I mean, it's not just me. I mean, Trump's actually behind the scenes um, taking troops and everything and going in their bases and stuff and taking them out. However, this is a problem. Because the U.S. regular forces troop don't didn't realize they were going up against dream, you know, deep what they call demons, you know, twelve foot tall Dracos and things like that. Um, it's causing the troops major trauma at this point. I see. This this is a battle. 
I am a former military person and I'm in charge of Earth forces. So when I talk yes. about killing these folks, it's not just let me do it. We are doing this as a military. Yes. It's just the mainstream media is owned by these idiots, so none of it's getting in the news. Right. There is a war on. We are at war. And, and we're I'm not like the only one killing. Yeah, there's, oh, okay. it's like a year Zulu time, Alfred. So it's good, one yeah. thing I just wanted to mention is that there's one thing that we really want to get into your hands and everyone else. This is something called Salmac or Nushador. It's, it's a mineral. Nushador, or it's called Salmaki. It's a certain mineral. I'll send you the link. Okay. It's a volcanic this sublimate. This repair. This is for radiation and repairing the triple strand. So I will send it to you so that you can have for you and Jerry and get it out to the viewing audience. Okay. Aside from the alkalinity and that everyone's going to have to look after themselves now. They're going to have to fend for themselves. We don't have time to do it. This yeah. app can do your own doctoring and, and, and zapping. Right. Yeah. So send the, uh, the uh, link for that app and we can publish it. Uh, in in the uh, link that'll be uh, with this particular program. Yeah, you need to understand the the folks that live up in the Scandinavian countries eat this stuff every day. That's why even with the fallout from Chernobyl and everything, they had no ill effects. And that's no kind of like cancers, shaga. No nothing. Mushroom. Yeah. That's the same idea with here. So what we're gonna do is I'm getting them to put kind of like your soleil together, the salt crystal and this rock and then stick it with the spring water and then start drinking this highly mineralized solution kind of like it's kind of like monatomic but that's the best way i've been doing it so far up here effectively right very good so here's, the, here's the thing and, and and i tried to get this data out to people too because they need to understand there's only 12 radioactive elements and a nuclear bomb and the worst of them are gone in a couple of weeks there's some that linger as long as 40 years a nuclear reactor throwing stuff is throwing 214 elements and the one of the longest half-lives on that is 241,000 years okay big difference with a nuclear bomb you're taking all your worst elements and converting them to heat and energy in the blast that does not happen with fallout from reactors at all. Right. People need to understand that. Reactor fallout is way worse than a bomb. Way worse. Right. And Fukushima is now at a nine. It took them eight months to get Chernobyl under control, and that was a seven. Fukushima is a nine, and it's been going for six years, and it's still going. Stop, please. Stop throwing water on it. Three men died at Chernobyl getting under that thing to remove the water before that wad hit it. Okay? So it wouldn't keep fissioning. Fukushima, they just keep pouring water on the ship. It's fishing in a way, like more and more and more and more as it goes deeper into the earth. And all that steam comes out, comes over here and drops on you. Right, so they're continuing the uh, genocide. I mean, I got, I got a, a recent, you know, I can, I can look at right now um, what the rads are uh, pissing out of there. Oh, come on. And it's pathetic, okay? Right there. It's pushing 1,362. Constant. Right. Never mind what's going into the water. This stuff's going in the air constant. And, it, and sometimes it gets as high as 1,900, 19,000. When we have a steam out event, it's pretty calm right now. It's down to 1,362. <laughs> Which is light for them. But this is ongoing. The more the water goes down, the more it fishes. You have a steam out event. And there's actually a crack, a fissure that runs 65 miles inland. <coughs> and now the worst of it's actually coming out there. Every day. For six years. Stop throwing water. Gotta stop throwing water. Right. 
Average reactor has like 524 rods. Each rod weighs 1,200 pounds. Of the 1,200 pounds for each individual rod, 750 pounds of it's fissionable. We got three cores down there. It only takes uh, uh, 10.6 uh, kilos of the, the plutonium to go bang of the 239 issue and then the 241, the really dirty stuff, it only takes 6.2. That's about the size of your fist. Anytime you get that much together in one place underground, it goes bang. And then you have a major steam out event. Again. We got three of them there. Well, Japan's actually got five in the ground, three here, one way up north and one way south of here. And now France has put five in the ground. Well, six that I know of. The other one blew up into the air. Explosively. That's why the news report, when they did it for the, the issue with everybody's face and eyes and throats and everything burning in England, they categorically said it was, it was not from France because they don't even want to talk about it. They don't even want anybody to even think about that because that's where it's actually coming from over there. And if you look at the wind patterns, you can tell where it's coming from. Right. And now France is getting dosed because the winds have changed and the winds are going the other way. So now everybody in France is getting messed up too. And you got another reactor up here that uh, blew a hole through the cooling loop. So, I mean, they're just doing it all over. And every, in the United States, and as far as I know, the ones up here in Canada too, every night they're just... Uh, venting the core up the stack into the atmosphere and I've on a got regular this, basis yeah i've got this documented on my facebook on the um on my pictures and photos and albums alford uh -huh. so we have all that for people plus we have actually surveillance of like some of the et and races over the university of saskatchewan here trying to see because of that cern synchrotron ring here and i know when i met dr helen keldicott um, several years ago here. There was concern at that time. We were discerning about what was going on. Right. And I've, I've, I mean, I've done queries, uh, you know, in individual locations, and you can, and you can look at the numbers. It's, it's horrendous. This gets everything, whereas your handhelds don't. Half of the stuff, you can't even see it in the United States, you know. But I mean, uh, Let's go up to, uh, like, uh, Hanford, see what's coming out of there. Uh, it, let's W's. Olympia, Seattle, Spokane. Yeah, yeah probably. Uh, Richland, I think, is downwind right now. So uh, go to end of last month to today. They won't give you the beta numbers at all. Um, and five. There you go. I'll do it anyway, but. Line graph. Right there. 2,250, and it peaks all the way up. Almost a three thousand. Mm -hmm. So, so what's the significance of that? These colors. Well, the I did of, it, of the whole graph. I mean, the, the 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 that's the CPM counts per minute. Right. And I did a graph specifically um, to, that shows the content by color. On Facebook, there's something at Radiation Graphic Room, and that's where Patty's put together for all of us to educate us. So it's at Radiation right. Graphic Room on Facebook. Okay. Now this is the, this, this is, is the stuff there. they this is the stuff they don't talk about, like the green. That stuff hangs around for 53 days. It doesn't stay around long, but this is really active stuff. Deadly. The yellow. This yellow line here that's right under it, some of that 
lasts for a thousand fifteen years for a half life. Right. That's the uranium, the yellow. The pink under it sticks around for 109 years. Some of it, you know, that's what I mean. So you, you start going by content. And uh, the pink, that is uh, up around 500 right now, a little over 500. See, counts per minute. That's how bad this shit is. I think, Alfred, if you're open to that, is maybe getting a, a round table like with Patty and myself, maybe Loren, um, Helen, or someone like that. And that we could put a cohesive education and solution. Right. Solution. You know, because the enclaves to me are decontamination centers, and that's where we need to be focusing resources right now. Actually. Right. Yeah. Exactly. If that I makes mean, sense. We can use all the oils and stuff too in these machines, but that's temporary till we can get into whoever can make it into the decontamination centers because they're not made yet. I mean, prior, prior to now, I had most of the, I was just doing a, a quick graphic um, on thing. I've actually started doing it out, the actual framing and everything because these things need to get built and quick. What is that? A um, uh, that's, uh, that's a single house. But is that, that holds, a... It can hold eight couples and uh -huh. ten kids. Radiation-proof, Radiation EMP-proof, uh, UV-proof, the whole thing, and self-sufficient power, uh, gas, water, and it actually creates, you know, uh, surplus. And, and is that so standing, a standalone? Yeah. Now, is that the decontamination centers you're talking about? This is a single house that could go in the big enclave, but at I this see. point, we don't even have time to build the enclaves. We need yeah. to start building these houses. And get the hell inside them. Now, what is? Could you say more about the decontamination centers and how they relate to the houses and how they relate to what's happening now? Well, part of the enclaves. I mean, even the the concrete that goes in the walls. There's five types of stone that you use as, a, as an aggregate. It actually repels radiation naturally. Beyond that. You know, the, the poles in the bottom and the center of the houses, I go and get Gaia crystal right out of the caves. That helps actually push all this crap out of you <coughs> and correct your body's frequency at the, at the DNA level. Help you heal yourself. One, five. Well, it's not here. It's probably uh, not going to be here today then. Um, these run on solar and, and wind and, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, Archimedes screw with generators, uh, plus, you know, if once we, you know, we have, are allowed to do it, um, I have the actual blueprints for making magnetic motors to run motors with no power at all. Plus, we need to stop building them. We need to stop putting them together because uh, people are contaminated. Everything they uh, you know they do right now, uh, eat, drink, breathe in. I mean, I, I've done them all out. They're all you know printed out. Right. Houses, the furniture and everything. And they have two grown levels below ground, two living levels, um, where these basements you can have full size trees, fruit trees, and everything else. Right, uh, right. The, the, build, the, the initial you know, flooring is 50 feet high. The finish uh, ceiling inside the, the two basement levels is 40 feet. You can grow trees and everything down there. And there. Right. So th this is a natural habitat. Now, what I'm not clear about yet is, is the decontamination center different from this? Or no. no. You can do it individually on, in these individual houses or you can do it whole scale with an enclave. I see. You know, take big bolts of people in at one time. Right. And, and so what is the decontamination routine or regime like with people? Well, the main thing is with this, everything you bring in here, even the trees you bring in, you got to decontaminate them before you put in, clean the soil and everything. Because everything 
You're taking in right now is contaminated. I see. Literally. With radiation. So the whole thing is you can't fix this because every time you eat anything right now, it's contaminated. I see. Pretty much anything you get, even you know non-GMO foods, it's contaminated with radioactive fallout. Right. And could you just list some of the some of the particles that are in the radioactivity? Well, I'll tell you. I'll just send you the uh, the chart. Um, yeah. Because I've already done that. <laughs> you know. Yeah. The, the stuff that the worst of the stuff that's in there, and again, this stuff all mimics something your body naturally needs. That's why, you know, at this point we're pushing, try and take up as much non-contaminated um, materials uh, that your natural minerals that your body needs, so that you're not taking up um, nuclear content that mimics it. There's the chart with the half lives and everything. Right. And again, this is another issue. Uh, that doesn't get talked about. Half-Life are only valid in isolation in a lab when they tested it to get the Half-Life. Out in the wild, interacting with other nuclear content, those Half-Lives mean nothing. And they found that out with Chernobyl. The uh, 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 the fallout on the ground, they thought, you know, it had, you know, it, by lab, it has a 30-year Half-Life. They went out there now, not only has it not gone down, it's gone up. And the rest are made from, they've gone from 30 years now to over possibly 470 years before it gets to a half-life out in the wild. Because <laughs> the cesium and, and everything in the soil, Chernobyl, hasn't gone down. It's actually gone up. <laughs> right. After, after 25 years. And it's supposed to have a 30-year half-life. Only it's gone up, not down. And that's just the first chain in the molecule. That's another thing they don't talk about. This is, you know, average decay chain. That decay chain uh, number they give you is for that first top little circle. And some of the stuff that decays into is worse than the original. As it goes through the entire decay chain. These are the secrets of the nuclear cabal. Hmm. And they sold all this to you with this, the claim of power that was too cheap to meter right right there's another fact too these reactors actually take more power from the grid than they ever put into it and i got that right from the power company they were pissed when i started posting that mm -hmm. um the amount of time they actually spend shut off drawing power from the grid to move your fuel around to keep your rods the pool's cool and all of that actually outweighs the amount they ever produce when running. Those right. reactors are just for producing uranium-235 and plutonium for weapons programs. That's the only reason why they have reactors. Hmm. That is what they, that's what they're for. And they take more power from the grid than they make. It's the biggest farce ever hmm. so uh, yeah where did I put that other document because I got a uh, the chart uh, usage chart actually right from the power company <laughs> right uh, when I started posting it they got really really upset uh, that actually shows the running times of these reactors and uh, how much they're actually drawing off the grid uh, on a yearly basis. Oh, where is that? Is it in this directory? It might be up in the Fukushima one. Uh, right in part. And Alfred, one of the things too I'd like to put together would be some really easy stuff for people to do at home. I've found yeah. some really steamers. And I've got some do-it-yourself, even like putting, making a temporary steamer so they can get it just out of the washroom and steaming teas and what, what herbs and what oils that we could use. They're also great because, I mean, not everything is going to do it with zeolite or bentonite or, you know, yeah. what they think. We need to use this kind of like, you know, stuff that we've got with the Genius Insight with um, Ryan Williams and Dr. Ariel Palacano. 
they've already um, put these protocols, like they, what I call a Putkin or Danik or Yoni, but it's it's a root chakra, it opens the root chakra because people are dying. And unless I steam it up, it's not just an enema clonic, it's a herbal steam that we're using with monatomics and stuff to keep the root chakra open enough so that we can get them into these decontamination facilities. Right, right. It's got nothing right. to do with the vagina. It's got nothing to do with the perineum and a prostate. It's about once it hits the bloodstream in the hemorrhoidal vein, like the, the venous system there, it's like mainlining. And I'm having phenomenal results even with people with the Morgellons and the biofilm and people like Rose Stevens and stuff in Winnipeg. We're all getting on board with this right now. Yeah, yeah. So uh, this is this is very wonderful to uh, share. And so it is. Um, perhaps in uh, in uh, we could begin to report this more more widely in yes. subsequent programs and articles. Yeah, I think that would be marvelous, very exciting. So thank yeah. you for your help and everything. Oh, yeah, we sure. need to get this out because, you know, it's not just I'm seeing the effects in the people around me and my loved ones. Even Alex, my boy, too, all of a sudden it shows up as photosensitivity or they can't see properly or, or Neil, you know, who had saved his life here with stage four cancer, prostate cancer, all of a sudden was like holding the wall a couple yeah. of days after the eclipse because it's hitting them, right? And he sure. said... He couldn't see. He said it was like being snow blind, Karen, but without any snow. Yeah. And so I, I hear what you're saying. This this visual disturbance, this hearing disturbance, this memory loss. Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah. And I, I don't I can, want people to suffer that. I can verify all of those symptoms being myself in the target zone here. And being yes. a target, I can verify all of those things from sight loss. I've suffered sight loss, loss of sight right. in my right eye. I've suffered loss of, of things. I've suffered loss of memory. I've suffered all of those symptoms. And so I'm really uh, uh, grateful to have, you know, uh, intersected with this type of information. And now we need to uh, share it with the public. I call it civil defense because obviously <laughs> the, I, I, the I, I governmental don't, don't authorities... The governmental authorities have defaulted and have become uh, genocidal authorities and not governmental authorities. Okay. Correct. I, I, I don't. I don't, I don't know if you. The clan mother. So the military is backing me as a clan mother. So the thirteenth clan mother, Alfred. I don't. I don't know if you know this, but the shared pool building. They've burned that place five times with all the rods in it. Bear in mind, it's the Yakuza running that. And that is the Red Dragon Society. That's the offshoot of Queen Elizabeth's group who were uh, interbred with the uh, Zion group at the South Pole who were uh, Anunnaki Zeta hybrids. Right. That That's your Yakuza. That's who's in charge at Fukushima. Right. Who's running that mess. Exactly. Yeah. And they're doing this deliberately to keep throwing more and more content into the air. Yeah. Yep. These these people are psychopaths. Yeah, they are. They're the predatory pandemic, as far as I'm concerned, AI. They are, you know, genocidal. They are psychopaths and serial killers, and they need to be stopped. And they're not going to take any more of our children either. There's another problem with that alone. These new D-Wave computers, um, they're creating extra havoc. It's bad enough I'm almost done getting rid of the phantom timelines that they start doing this stuff. That's bringing over, not from phantom timelines, but from parallel timelines. We're getting overlaps. We're getting history changes. This is really messing up people's brains and actually causing physical pain. And we've had some really weird stuff go down. A guy uh, got swapped out. He had six kids prior to coming here. Now he's only got four. And as it turns out, his kids are 48 chromosome. I mean, 46 chromosome double spiral. He's 48. Uh, chromosome triple spiral uh, and no longer even, you know, uh, matches his kids and he's lost two of them in the in the merge. This is these new D-Wave computers that they're doing that are actually side linking to parallel Earths in real time and actually messing up our history. Right. 
and that's at the behest of the plasma AI. It wants more more uh, resources, and it wants to hybridize humans, you know, transhumanism thing to take over control of them. Exactly. We have this has to be stopped. It does. And that's why there's a scorched earth policy. They are to be taken out. They're considered to be enemies to the nations and the tribes and the clans. So Patty's going to do what Patty's going to do. Yeah. I mean, the tall whites are having a field day because the dead, yeah, the tall whites are having a field day because the dead bodies go to them and they become, you know, stew. Which is who Trudeau is. And so I've been told. So when this, when the military tells me they know the genetics of different people, I'm going to go with some of that intel. So so could you be more explicit when, when you mentioned Trudeau? Could, could you just be more explicit about that? He's a hybrid Anshar. He's a hybrid what? Anshar. Anshar? He's a loosh eater. He actually sucks loosh off of people. Oh, And when he came up to Canada and did that whole thing, he even you know stated it categorically. He was up there for the louche. When he came in public, up to... on recorded, I... <laughs> they're when... not even hiding anymore. No. I mean, Trudeau is a hybrid that lives on louche. Yeah. Okay. And he's not even hiding it anymore. He did it in a public forum and it was recorded. <laughs> he was up there for the loose. And I did the recording at the University of Saskatchewan at the Dubai Center. Really? And I met with the entourage of the RCMP. We have it recorded and we have it on Facebook. Really? I truly do. And I told him to stand down. And I was going to report them because they were now enemies. To us. Of the of, of, of humanity, yeah. Wow. Okay. These guys are both basically clones. The the RCMP knew exactly who I was within minutes. I was there hours before they were. I almost got in as a journalist, but I saw how they pre-rigged everything. I saw how they hand out, you know, little pieces of paper. I saw where they placed them into the audience, and I saw the whole facade about it, and I also know who they handpicked to even ask the questions. So um, I know what a joke it is. They wouldn't let me stay as a journalist either. So, um, yeah, no, you, if, 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 we have if, it recorded. If you don't have a paper from them to ask the question, you stand up trying to ask the question, they'll arrest you and take you out of the building. Yeah. The whole thing's staged. It's just, you know, right. the farce. Well, it, it looks like there's a lot of uh, uh, control going on. Uh, uh, I'm I'm looking at the latest notes from Dr. Sam Muggsy, who is a yep. friend and a colleague. Mm -hmm. I deal with Sam all the time. I'm her doctor. Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, her latest interview with uh, Kent Dunn yeah. uh, at 8 minutes and 23 seconds. Trump is under house arrest. The military Let's inside see. White okay. House. Dunford is a half human and half Anunnaki. Chinese elders are mixtures of Agarthans and Anunnaki. Dunford is doing a job for the Anunnaki. Uh, uh, it just goes on from there. Yeah. And uh, you can't so, you can't believe anything coming out of his mouth. He's he's working. He's repeating the words of a cabal plant in the White House, in essence. And yeah. we're finding more and more of these. And taking them out, right? Yeah, Trump we're is. not finding any validity in Dr. Sam Muskie's reports with uh, Drake or with Kent Dunn, so we can find enough holes in all of it. it okay, this is starting to go very fast. You're, could you say that sentence again? It just went very fast. I'm not finding any true validity in Dr. Sam Muskie's reports on the Quantum Shift show with Kent Dunn and Drake. Okay. I've listened to them myself. We've, we've listened enough. We're in the background. Nothing. Oh, okay. So I'm in contact on and off with Sam. She's on my Facebook. I talk to her and I feed her some of the stuff as well as I give to you or to other people okay. if I think they need to bring it forward. Okay. Here's one of the things. They need in truth completely. Well, right. Here's exactly. one of the things. Like, like a, and, and, and so uh, ultimately, I, 
everybody is responsible out. for the for all of the information that in their own sovereign being they evaluate internally and they choose to own and I, I, that's I, what I, I gotta each of us know, right. which they can through resonance take in yeah. and it's I mean, through the internal to, resonance you correct you have yeah and you I have, have all these all these super soldiers yeah. have chips in their head um you they're always under the control of the cabals unless they're dead yeah period well so understand what comes out of their mouths has to be allowed by their controllers right i i understand now we're we're up to the four minute warning here because we have been going we're uh we're on for we we've been on for 55 minutes and 48 seconds and we're coming up to the 60 minute mark yeah which is our which is our program so uh if there are things that you have not uh said yet that you wanted to say please bring them up now or if you have specific points that you want to make to the audience please make them now uh, my, i'll say mine for it first okay uh, stop stop panicking people um that's the goal of what they're doing uh is fear tactics you make better food and you help manifest what they want stop please very good And so I'd like to encourage people to look at Facebook at Patty L. Broussard or my four Facebooks, Karen McDonald, Karen Ann McDonald, or clan mother, Karen Lusick, L-U-C-Y-K McDonald. I'm doing sessions for people one-on-one, -on -one, Alfred, and for demos. So if we got other, we got thousands of other practitioners to help them. I'd like to encourage them to go to the Quantum Genius apps and take a look at those or awakentotalhealth.com if they need assistance because they are having experiences of radiation illness. And we can do something to at least alleviate some of the symptoms temporarily. This is not something having 30 years of medical and as a nurse and about 20 little certificates behind us is that the nurses and medical community are not prepared to do. You need to have special quantum medical background like myself and other practitioners that are specialized in this. And so I would encourage them to do that. Also to look at these stuff. We talked about steams, but we need to have further talks on that. So um, we've got some radio shows and stuff coming up. And maybe if we could do something a little bit more um, in there because of what the experiences are. And the medical community does not have the proper things, you know, to, to deal with this or to do treating. And we need to be self-empowered at this time, which is why we don't, we want to be off the grid. This is going to be a blessing in disguise for people to start being self-empowered and using their own things instead of running to a doctor to scan themselves like Star Trek. We have this technology. AI can be very, hard, you know, helpful in some points. So quit being bodies and start being self-empowered beings. Here's, here's a, a really a wild um, statistic. Doctors and hospitals kill more people than all the firearms on the continent yearly yeah. by a factor of over 10 times. Yeah. And some of us are actually rating. Some of us are actually doing better right now. And I'm one of those people. And still are people like Marcus Rothkrantz and Kara Brotman that are getting into the raw food plant-based stuff because anything other than that is really going to be affecting and the cumulative effect on the radiation. So we're really suggesting getting things with high mineral contact, which is basically fruits and organics right now. You know, as just best you, clean yeah. the minerals. As best you can find clean ones. <laughs> non GMO. And, and Monsanto himself, James Monsanto was calling me himself actually a couple weeks ago. So the deal is no with them, by the way. <laughs> we're not going to Miami and we're not going to Iceland with them. <laughs> now they're trying to hold seminars to get light workers on board with the GMO. <laughs> Can you believe this? Amazing. Well, I, I, I really want to thank you both, and I want to thank the audience. This has been a special report uh, with Karen McDonald and with Patty Broussard on uh, the radiation illness and 
the radiation genocide now sweeping the planet. Uh, this is Alfred Lambert Weber for ExoPolitics TV. Thank you.